also I picked out because they have a little bit different um, breeding habit. Um, similar like Montella nitricans, um, Montella madagascariensis are dinghy holes. Um, so this is important for the terrarium setting too. I, um, the ground is with the peat and I really have a big uh, layer of peat and about yeah, 5 up to 20, 25 centimeters away from the water part, um, Mantella expectata, um, or the males of Mantella expectata, are really digging holes into the ground. Um, and being located around these holes, crawling next to the holes, sometimes from within the holes. And that's another picture, yeah, where it's just looking a male out of the ground. And then they, uh, they lay the clutches into, uh, into these holes. Yeah. And that's interesting for me because, uh, like the Mantilla Arantiaca, where the females are like yeah, having a look in, in the hiding spaces or um, checking the, the spaces where, where they might lay the clutches, Mantilla Madagascariensis is doing the same. Yeah? But they are not using like any holes in, in woods or whatever. No, the males are really digging the, the holes in, in the ground. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> this is now a clutch from um, Mantella nigricans, which are really digging like small ponds too. Yeah? And in the natural habit, habitat, usually the water is washing out the tadpoles um, or the water level. Is, is raising um, the um, but the tadpoles are being covered with water. What was interesting for me again from the lecture before was um, finding the frogs in, in the natural habitat within just uh, yeah, special season. Um, we went to a place in Ranomafana, which is in the highlands of um, Madagascar. It's one of the hotspots for frogs in the world. Undersea Bay and Ranomafana are supposed to be the, the hotspots on Madagascar. And we went to a place where we knew that we could find Mantilla Baroni and Mantella madagascariensis. So we've just found one Mantella madagascariensis and about 20 Mantella baruni. Um, this is what I told you in the beginning, that it seems that the Mantella baruni is just pushing the madagascariensis genetically away. Uh, interesting was that we have been there for three days and we went to this spot for several times. And there were times and it didn't rain at all. You know? There were times where we found, within just a few minutes, 20 individuals. Um, and there were times where we didn't find any frog at all at the same spot, you know? within just three days. You know? So um, we really made a search through, through the vegetation on the ground. We didn't find anything. You know? And when we came there, let's say, six hours later, the props were jumping around. Yeah. So, yeah, that was interesting to me too. This is a small froglet from Mantella madagascariensis. It's about two months old. Yeah. So you see, it takes some time till the coloration begins to appear. And yeah. that's it.